everybody, and welcome back to Rompa Trigger Happy Havoc, and the last episode was the super long, tediously took like five hours to render and upload, freaking class trial number four. In today's episode, I actually don't remember what we're supposed to be doing, uh, but I'll figure something out. Uh, the music that's like dangerous is playing and it's midnight, so I'm assuming we gotta leave the room. I think I do kind of remember. I think we're supposed to be meeting with Kiri Giri. I am to the school's empty late night halls heading towards the fourth floor. And when I arrived at the data processing room, Kiri Giri isn't here. Strange, she said she'd meet me here. Maybe she's already inside? I set my hand on the handle and pulled the door. Absolutely nowhere. I tried several times, but... No, but it's definitely locked. In that case, what was she talking about? Why didn't she- why did she tell me to go here? Well, 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 what you doing? Yeah! You are forbidden from destroying locked doors, you know this! Uh, I- I just, was just... You- ooh, trying to say you haven't busted up yet? Well... That's freaking obvious! No need to explain stuff any- any- with anyone with a good pair of beavers could see. I just came to give you a little warning. You were shit. You were shaking it pretty hard, you know. You still have sleep or something? N not exactly. Anyway, it's three in the morning. I get sleepy too, you know. Quit screwing around and get your ass to bed. Is there a problem? What's with all the commotion? Kiri, hmm, you too? Go to bed, both of you. I'm exhausted after the class trial. I understand. I didn't know you think you did anything, Monokuma. Let's get going, Nagi. Huh? Yeah. You heard me. We're leaving. I don't really know what's going on here. Yeah. Never mind that. Let's go. Never mind that. Let's go. All right, all right. Go on, shoot, shoot! Just as I was instructed, I followed Kiri back to the dormitory. And when we arrived, yeah. goodbye. Ho hold on a second. What was that all about? You wake me up in the middle of the night, tell me to go to a locked room, show up you're late yourself, and then call it quits without actually having done anything? What was the goal? The purpose of all that? <sighs> Nothing. As usual, that was all I got for a response. Nor was I actually surprised. <laughs> good night, Nagi. N night. We said our good nights. And I just and just as we were parting ways. <gasps> what? Kirigiri whispered into my ear. Nani? Chapter 4. All, all apologies. The end. With only six, se seven, six or seven of less left to be continued, Manukuma. Damn, what the fuck? Well, took this long enough to show up. Contain the present altar ball. You can find the present menu. What does that even do? Chapter four. End. Yes, we will save the data. Would you like to overwrite the save data? Yes. Damn. Okay, there you guys are watching. No, <laughs> that was a joke. Okay. I'm not funny. Kirigiri warned me to beware of her. Just three days left before that event. Three days before we came to face to face with our next murder. Three days before, that terrible crime was committed. What? If you want donuts, prepare for despair. What the fuck? Yo, Kiri looks good in that photo right there. It was morning after our Gami class trial, and we gathered in the cafeteria. Hmm. Let's begin our post-class trial recon. Not even a preface. Let's get straight to the just getting straight to the point. That's breaking tradition, dude. <laughs> if you want to work with me, you'll refrain from meaning meaningless banter. Uh, it's amazing you can see us 
at all up there in your ivory tower. That's just the way of sh showing you cares, dude. That's what I be want to believe. <laughs> in any case, if you want to take the Puppet Master down, then you'll do as I say. I will, on the Dogami name, exterminate the rat uh, scurrying across this academy. And drag around its overinflated pride like a cow's gut. You're, pri you're pretty quiet, ain't you, Kawa? Silent and pungent, like a shiitake, dude, a uh, shiitake woman. She's not responding. Whenever she talks, we get off track, so I told her not to open her mouth without her permission. What? If she doesn't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink. Not my problem. And you're okay with that, Kawa? What the fuck? It's amazing to see him at all up there in his ivory tower. Somewhere or another, we still ended up with meaningless banter, didn't we? They dragged me into it. But that ends the here. From now on, I'm not letting you slow me down. It's re God's time. Don't just move your mouths, move your bodies. I, I, Togami's irritating prodding. We began once again our exploration of the academy. Okay, so we get four of four now, huh? Hmm. I wonder why it's loading for so long. What the hell this is the first time this has ever happened? Hmm. This is really weird. What's going on? One second. Never once has it loaded this long before. I'm starting to get worried. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I fixed it. Alright, so... Up to next is... Finding out where the fuck to go next. Uh, so... Let's do this, like usual. Need to go back twice and it'll take us to the top of the floors. Let's go. Alright, so these are the washrooms, of course. Wait, have we not been here? What floor is this? Okay. So I guess we can't teleport to that floor? It, it would appear. Okay, well there's stairs right there, I guess. So I guess I'll take them. Damn, this actually looks much nicer. Kogamini Academy's fifth floor, huh? So this is the floor that opened up this time. Compared to the other floors, this one feels different somehow. I don't think I like it. These are classrooms. Um, there's a way to open up a map, I remember. Triangle, okay. Um, hmm. I think I'll go this way first. Hey, Kazehina. Doesn't this floor seem kind of different from the others? I wonder if there's some kind of meaning to it. I just hope it's not something bad. Uh, sure. What room is this? Doesn't have a... Oh, it has a classroom thing on it. What the fuck? What the heck happened here? An overt sense of wrongness. It wasn't just the sight laid out before me that was wrong. But also the powerful scent that permeated the classroom. The stench is awful. What is that smell? You should have at least have an inkling, I imagine, having witnessed death have, have here numerous times already. And this is... The stench of death. Of human flesh and blood. Surprisingly, I wasn't surprised. Just as Togami said, I experienced the smell a number of times already. The smell of death and despair. <laughs> Even though it's putrid, so much blood and flesh in such a small area, like a battlefield. This has got to be Monokuma's. It's my fault again, is it? I'd appreciate if you start throwing the, shoving the blame for or everything on me. There's no way things would have gotten turned out like this if you weren't involved. Actually, it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yes, I'll give you a hint. I've done absolutely nothing to or in this room. I didn't even clean it. I just left it exactly as it was. What? There's your hint. It's slightly more useful than a hint in the hardcore retro RPG. In any event, all this blood kind of di disturbing, huh? But you know, people die every day on the in the outside world. It was no big deal. Just hold your head up high and press forward. What the hell is he talking about? He didn't clean it, but left it exactly as it was. What does it mean? <clears throat> hey, Tsugami, about what Monokuma was saying. 
He didn't even look at me. Seems like he's deep in thought. Is he concentrating? No, he's probably just ignoring me. May I leave? No, I have to keep looking. Ugh. Okay. Why human-shaped outlines have been traced onto the floor? I get the chills just looking at them. I've seen stuff like this on police dramas on TV, where corpses have been found. Cun me, I don't want to believe it. There are pools of blood splattered all over the classroom. It's so awful, I want to cover my eyes. <laughs> the blood seems to be completely dry. And from the color, I see these blood stains are fairly old. This is all real blood, isn't it? <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be nearly as much fun otherwise. Very interesting indeed. Just when the world could have happened here. He appears to be enjoying himself, as I always figured there's no way I can keep up with Togami. Can I leave now? Yeah, okay, good. Fuck Togami, he's a dick. Uh, what room is this? It's locked. Kind of disappointed that I can't go in after walking down that long hall. The nameplate on the on the wall says Bio Lab. A sealed biology lab, huh? Makes me think of a B movie horror flick. Okay. That's obviously gonna be important. Uh, <laughs> it's a biology room. Ah, now I know what the bio room is used for. Just guessing in my head, I already have an idea. Wait a fucking minute. Okay. So that was the. Okay, so the circle leads us to two different rooms. This is a completely open room. This is a dojo. Um, let's go in the open room first. Holy sh- What? What is this? When I just thought I'd get to see the sky again, turns out the ceiling and walls are just painted, dude. What the herbage is the real deal, man. The smell of fresh greens is, is sublime, dude. It's so relaxing. Great thing like that. Anything like that, aren't ya? Huh? Well, why shouldn't- Shouldn't I? You don't know the true horror of the plant kingdom, do ya, dude? Make you think they're just there, but the truth is there's always watching us. And then when the plants decide that humans are no longer fit to rule the planet, the floral revolution will begin. It's true, dude. Yeah, sure. Um, what the fuck? Holy shit! Whoa, what the heck is that? It's peculiar and unpleasant to look at, and it's huge. Like it's ignore the rules of perspective. Is this real? Watch out! What? what? That sassy lassie is the Monokuma flower, yo, and named it myself. If you touch it the wrong way, things would get exciting. We're talking about boom, 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 chump, squish, slurp, slurp, slap, kind of exciting. In other words, nothing good could come of it. Pretty awesome, am I right? It's a miraculous bee, a special breed, tirelessly improving upon one of my very own until he perfected it. He was a former student who died in the dre uh, dregs of despair, the super duper high school botanist. By the way, that flower does more than add aesthetic fit layer, it's actually got a ton of practical uses too. It can consume garbage and plastic and humans, and it's really good for the environment, dude. In other words, it's certified green. So societies of the future are going to be lined up to buy these things. Not that I care. After rambling away like an auctioneer, Monica ran off. I'm surprised I said that right. Anyway, it's probably best if I stay away from that thing. Oh, I got a fucking coin for it. Um, what's this? There's a monitor on it. Is this a chicken coop? Why the heck would there be a chicken coop here? Is there chickens? <gasps> There's chickens! I, it's even got chickens in it. They're just regular chickens, right? They don't eat humans or lay bombs or come with any other unnecessary surprises, right? I'm gonna guess not. Buck buck. It's a chicken. And it doesn't have any transformations, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yo, you like birds too, Nikes? Uh, truth is, I love them, dude. Hey, they just wicked adorable, and there are exactly five of them, too. Exactly. Mm. Five, dude, five. The number after four, and before six, and the integers and natural numbers, dude. Five's a good omen. And we got a bunch in play now, dude. I can feel something brewing true as truth. It's a power number, dude. Exhilarating as a nice lemon squash. Conversation with Hagaku. Always oh, fucked. Alright, what the hell, what else is there to do? Or, I don't want to do that. Triangle. Okay, there's a camera, and then there's this house here. Alright, I guess it's a shed? Looks like a shed, no harm in having a look around. I'm assuming it has, like, the gardening tools? Yeah. 
that's all. This thing, things have to appear, things appear to have just been thrown in here at random, a lawnmower, fire pots, fertilizer hose, and that is a pickaxe. There, is that a pickaxe there against the back wall? Hose, are they telling, what? Hose, are they telling us to become self-sufficient? Crazy diamond. Something appears to be carved into the handle of the pickaxe. Crazy diamond? Oh my god, wait, wait a minute. I think, I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. I think I know too. Oh, what the hell? Uh, anything super important in here? No, it doesn't seem so. If it's letting me leave already. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's... What? What have I not checked out? Oh, do I have to finish talking to Dakare again? You don't believe me, do you, Nice? They make you think they're just there, but the truth, they're always watching us. And then when the planet decides that humans are no longer fit to rule the planet, the floor revolution will begin. It's cheated. No, it isn't. You're crazy. What else is there left? Is there still more in here? It would have told me, wouldn't it have? Um, okay, let's look at this then. That's a lawnmower. Even with something like this around, it's actually going to take care of the grass? I don't want these coins. Then again, maybe if I get a hundred, I'll get something cool. A variety size of flower pots. Maybe I should spruce up my room with some flowers. Oh, there's a... This is it. It's a fertilizer. There's supposed to be a number of different varieties. Wait, no. Are you really sure that's everything? What the hell? Okay. Then what the hell was I missing? Am I still supposed to keep looking at the chickens? What is that? Is that something I'm supposed to look at? Behind a gakare? What is this? There's some kind of panel attached to the pole. A thermostat, maybe? Sprinklers! Sprinklers? That's a control panel for the sprinklers on the ceiling on the, in, in this here pedantical garden. It's set to water the plants every morning at 7.30. Don't go playing with it. Now that you could, it's password protected, so you can't change the settings. So you're gonna have to spring. You're gonna. You're saying the sprinklers in the garden go off every morning at 7:30. Good job repeating what I just said. It's user friendly. I hate it. Anywho, come across strolling through too early in the morning, it'll get soaked. But you're not a kid anymore, and sprinklers don't get you excited, do they? Or are you one of those wet, uh, wet look fetishes, fetishes, Nagi? I'm gonna go tell everyone. Okay, that was weird. Can I leave now? Yes. Never again do I want to go in there. That was gross and weird. Um, Dojo. This might be my kind of place. Learn some Naruto ninja moves. Oh, is it like Archie Club 2? Kirigiri, you and that miniskirt doe. What Kirigiri said yesterday? Just exactly what was that all about? <laughs> Hey, uh, Kirigi? I won't tell you anything. Why? I, I won't tell you anything. Kirigi narrowed her eyes and cautiously threw a glance towards the security camera. You understand? It's short, it's important enough information that it would be bad if the Prime Master caught with us. But if that's the case, just how did Kirigiri acquire that information? Yeah. This conversation's over now. And with that as usual, Kirigiri refused to give me any specific details. I can see targets in the distance. Bullseye, my eyes are awesome. <laughs> Nike. Alright, um... I think there's something else important here, wasn't there? Are these real trees? Despite the fact that we're inside, there are cherry blossom trees growing here, and they're in full bloom. This is very Japanese. Well, that's true, but why are you putting it out? I spent a lot of time living overseas. I'm not used to seeing sceneries like sceneries like this. It's sort of twisted representation of Japan, though. There's lockers. There are wooden lockers here. Each locker has a wooden plate inserted into its handle. It reminds me of the lockers at Public Bath. It's a ball of straw. I guess it's used for target practice? Is that everything here? Yeah, I guess. Um, so what now then? I guess I looked at everything. Well, it looks like I've seen everything. 
but you I can't make sense of half of it. I guess I'll go back to the cafeteria and see what everyone else thinks. Cool. Ugh. Only Togami and Fukawa are here, okay. I arrive in the cafeteria just as the others start showing up as well. And within a few minutes... <laughs> looks like we're all here. You say that, dude, but with only six of us are barely enough for a volleyball team. Hey, why so down in the dumps about it? You gotta think a little more optimistically. Even if one more person dies, we can still make a basketball team. Oh, yeah. That's some pessimistic optimism you got there, dude. Either way, we don't have time to get depressed right now. We gotta get do everything we can for the sake of those who didn't make it. <laughs> and are we about done licking each other's wounds? <clears throat> Let's get started on our reports. <laughs> By the way, did you all see the unusual room on the fifth floor? No, un no, unusual doesn't quite do it justice. That fucked up room. The... <laughs> The scenery of human flesh and blood permeating the room. The countless human-shaped outlines. Far more gruesome than any other room we've seen here. Say what? <laughs> the stench is awful too, far beyond any of our murder scenes. An, an, an amal amalgam of every imaginable bodily fluid. <laughs> it's probably a good thing I didn't go to that room. I just feel sick just listening to you. <laughs> Anywho, what happened there? Call it a hunch, but most likely, a great deal of people died in that room. A bunch of people died in there? Hold on, I think I am really gonna be sick. Perhaps that's where the mankind's most despairingly maleficent and monstrous malification occurred. What the fuck? I swear to god, this, this, I'm pretty sure this showed up before, and I don't like reading it again and again. What? It seems you and I are on the same page. Yes, it's possible that the massacre that occurred in that room is the malification from a year ago. The cause of that gruesome scene? Was the malification that happened a year ago? In other words, the malification refers to the mass murder of Kibigamine Academy students. That mind, we can explain why Kibigamine Academy was forced to shut down. It makes sense, but damn, that's evil, dude. That's not evil, that's super terribly evil. Evil indeed. Hopelessly evil. But in any event, why hasn't anyone heard about this? If it was such a huge incident, maybe it was really hidden from the public. Uh, talk to Fukawa. Hey, Togami, looks like Fukawa wants to say something. And why are you telling me? You, the keep it zipped thing, dude? Oh, I forgot about that. Dude, that's only criminally negligent. Lukaba, you're free to follow up the room with your hail hailtosis if you if you so desire, desire. Desire. It would be the utmost of pleasure, my white knight. And you need not worry, my breath is getting better. Ah, God was a tough one. You don't worry about me. Besides, my white knight and I are conversing. You stay out of it. So, what did you find? I found something interesting in the fifth floor classroom. This, a knife. It's huge, like something Rambo might carry around. Rambo might carry around. A survival knife, huh? Well, I was something like this in a classroom. Don't ask me. What did you intend to do to us with that knife, dude? N nothing, I just picked it up, that's all. It's dangerous to just leave it sitting there. And it's ten times more dangerous in the hands of a homicidal maniac like you, dude! Leave her, leave her out of this, she and I are nothing alike. Hey, more importantly, what should we do with it? Obviously, we can't let Kawa keep it, dude. Aside from that, I've got nothing. I wouldn't want something so barbaric anyway. That's a problem. Then why don't we give it to Nagi? Ah, to me. Yeah, yeah, I think you're a perfect match for that knife, Nags. Well, that was easy. Oh, hold on a second. Why don't I get any say? This just goes to show how much they trust you. Quit complaining and take it. That's trust? I feel like I'm getting just conveniently dumping around. Alright, I'm giving the knife to Nagi. Everyone else is on board with it, I guess. Alright. I've got no choice. I suppose I'll just put it in my desk drawer. That's all I have to report. Hey, Fukawa. Ah, is it my breath? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for smelling, I'm sorry, I'm smelling, I'm sorry for smelling. You made a decent discovery. I'm praising you. What? My white knight is praising me? That's great! This is a dream. I'm in a dream. <laughs> For me to having be having dreams like this. 
Oh, okay. I'm not even reading that. Uh, no, I'm not even reading that. I'm not in Kawa now. It's heartbreaking, dude. Stockholm Syndrome, man. It's fucked. Alright, uh, Hagakure-kun. There's a full-on botanical garden on the fifth floor, dude. I found a bunch of inter interesting stuff there. There's this monstrous flower. Kumanakuma called that the Monokuma flower. Apparently, it's not a good idea to touch it either, so we probably watch out for that. It's a man-eating flower, dude. This ain't like ones that come out of pipes. I'm betting that was what those sprinklers are for, too, dude. That's probably a uh, Mario reference. It seems like the sprinklers are set off to go automatically every morning at 7:30. Hmm. Don't forget, it, dude. Wouldn't want to get get wet and catch a cold. You'll be fine. They say idiots can't catch cold. <laughs> of course not. Idiots don't get wet. You are naturally stupid, but not that kind of a natural. Hey, I'm kind of worried about you, Agakura. Do you know what 10 plus 10 is? Oh, come on. Now you've gone too far. Just because I've down uh, three times doesn't mean that I'm that dumb. Well, for Harvey, argument's sake, I'll answer you. But, um, what was the question again? Don't worry about it. I got all the answers I need. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Okay, yeah. A triangle desu and then chicken coop. There's, there were even real live chickens in the coop, weren't there? Precisely five of them. I love chickens. Well, let's all raise them and make fried chicken. But grilled chicken is good, too. What should we do? Let's have them raw. I mean, come on. New experiences. You keep your food poisoning to yourself, dude. Yeah, salmonella ain't about that life. Uh. So you're bothered by that pickaxe, you Agakure? Pickaxe. There's a pickaxe in the shed in the garden. But the phrase is crazy diamond. Carved into the handle. Does that ring a bell for any, anyone? Mm. Crazy Diamond. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. So. It's not just a feeling. We all, we have all, in fact, seen those words before. Huh? Where? Oh yeah! Right! I remember. And what is jacket? Yeah! The back of the jacket said Crazy Diamond, didn't it? <laughs> You're right, it did. Mm. Well, why would the same phrase be on a pickaxe in the garden? Maybe Wada snuck into the shed and carved it himself? We just gained access to the flip floor today. Maybe Wada brought it with him and then Monokuma confiscated it? Either way, it's bugging me. Obviously, it has something of connection with Wada, but what? In any event, it wasn't the pickaxe that caught my eye in the shed. It wasn't? It was. I was talking about the lawnmower, dude. I think we may, might be able to call for help with it. How would you call help with a lawnmower? Do you still don't get it? We make crop circles! You're an idiot. And call for them. Fur, call for them. Mm. How did Agakure end up like this? When we first met, he wasn't anything like this. Yeah, dude, my character hasn't been set in stone at that point yet. Mm. He legitimately depressed me. Yeah, I think Agakure's just losing his shit. It's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, garden, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Asahi, now let's save Kyrie Gary for less. She's my favorite. Mm. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor the way Sakura used to. Mm. I didn't have any luck. Go figure. They've all got iron points covering them. There's no way out through the fifth floor then. Plus, I noticed a little something about the structure of the school. What did you notice, Asahina? Do you actually explore the fifth floor, Nike? Huh? Why do you ask? Yeah. If you had, you would have noticed what the other floors had that the fifth floor did not. Something the other floors had, but the other fifth floor didn't? Are you talking about stairs? As I recall, there were no staircases going up on the fifth floor, was there? You mean the fifth floor is the end? So We've finally seen it all. The whole academy. <laughs> That's the, all that's left is crack the mystery is hidden within. Oh my god, my phone is going off, which means we gotta end the episode soon, so let's keep playing and then when I feel it's time to end the episode, we'll end it here. There's no so small fish to fry, dude. A bigger fish, a bigger fish just means more to eat. Yeah, seeing is right, I think. Uh, we'll be fine, I know, as long as we all work together, we'll be able to pull something off. I swear we'll get out of this, we have to. Okay, Kirigiri san. I'm curious about to know what's in the biology lab. It's the only room that was sealed on the fifth floor. Mm. A biology lab, huh? I wonder what could be inside. Based on what we've seen so far, a creature of some sort, dude. I'm thinking of a tyrant type final boss. But this isn't a survival horror game, though. <laughs> in any case, I'm pretty sure it is. In any case, there is no need to think too hard about it right now. There's no point in wasting your brain power pondering unanswerable questions. And with your limited mental fa faculties, you would all do well to pay some mind to just how it gets used. Putting those words aside, you have a good point. There's nothing wor wrong with how I worded it. Yes, there is. <laughs> and with that, it seems like everyone's made their reports. Ooh. What now, dude? <laughs> hm. 
since from here on you guys will be working as my subordinates or something I like make clear. Once again, how tall is that ivory tower? We're gonna put a hole in the ceiling. So what does you want to clear it up? Kyoka Kirigiri's true identity. What? Kirigiri's identity? She's Kirigiri, isn't she? And who exactly is Kyoko Kirigiri? Each one of us, each and every one of us has a clear defined reason as to why we are selected to come to Kirigamine Academy. Asahina is the super duper high school swimmer. Agakure is the super duper high school shaman. Nagi is the super duper high school luxter. More like the unluxter right now though. <laughs> but what about Kirigiri? Is there anyone here who knows? Now that's right, she never told us, dude. She doesn't really like talking about herself. Isn't that a matter of when dislikes or dislikes? This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwillingly hiding their history from view? Start talking, Kirigiri, so, uh, so as to not invite any unnecessary suspicion. I can't. What? Why won't you tell us? I didn't say I wouldn't tell you. I said I can't tell you. What do you mean, dude? I don't remember. What? I have no memory of it. You have no... I mean, you have... Amnesia? It appears though your sense of humor is sorely lacking. That's amusing how unamusing that joke was. Don't tell me you were serious. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter to me. Whether you believe me or not, the truth will come out soon enough. So you intend to maintain your silence until the bitter end, then? Is this what this is? Well, you best forget about things going your way anymore. And what are you going to do? Torture me? Oh, shit! I wouldn't stoop to something so savage. I'm sorry, going to restrict your movement so you can't do anything else suspicious. Restrict my movements? Head over your, hand over your room key. Your, her room key? If she gives you that. But it's against rules to sleep outside a bedroom. She won't be able to sleep. If she doesn't like it, she can talk. She would be simple enough. She just needs to tell us about herself. Hold on. What threat they're going? Alright, fine. <laughs> It seems she had a change of heart. You're going to talk now, Kyrie reports. You got me not saying a word and then she hands him over her key. <laughs> you why? Why are you so insistent on your silence? I told you this once already, even if I wanted to, I couldn't tell you anything. Does that mean you were serious, Kyrie, about your amnesia? If you think about it, it's not impossible. In this terrible academy where only terrible stuff happens, a little memory loss ain't so far fetched. This terrible academy only terrible stuff happens. Is this what this is, though? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. Can you really say for sure everything that happened here is bad? What do you mean? I think I've said too much. And with that, Kyrie turned it back to us, and without another word, walked off. Boy. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. Don't worry, I won't do anything to get in your way. And those were her last words. Kyrie's last words. The sound of the door closing behind Kyrie resonated, uh, resonated through the silent cafeteria. What the heck is she, dude? We might... I think we might have gone a bit too far. I mean, taking her room key. For her, that was just... Just right. Oh, Barry, had all the pressure exciting her. That's the more she's supposed to the hotter she gets. Silence, Fukawa. <laughs> I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing and your heart beating is like a fly in my ear. You're telling her to die? Not that I don't understand the sentiment. In the any end... Any event, what does Kirigiri plan to do now? In this situation, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same as when everyone was ganging up on Ogami. And I haven't changed either. I still can't stop them. What's up, dude? Why start screaming all of a sudden? Over there. Oh. Hi. <laughs> you, how long have you been there? I am unbelievably, unprecedentedly. Angry at what? At the thief! Sorry to say it, but one of you is a thief! Huh? What? <laughs> Who stole it? Who stole my treasure? Your treasure? My Astrogana, Mr. Monica. Oh, <laughs> he's talking. These days, the world, to the world teems with anxiety and anguish. I can understand why people flee to their escapism. What do you mean, treasure? Shut up! I hope you all get caught in a whirlpool of un unemployment and debt. And off he goes. What was that all about, dude? He said something about someone stolen his treasure. Does anyone have any ideas? It's probably Kyokukiri Giri's doing. What? 
who other than her would do something like steal from Monokuma? So, Kiryu stole for something from Monokuma? If so, then, what else did she steal, and then why? Nighttime already? Holy! Didn't even notice. Okay, bye! Uh-oh, we better get out of here. Let's have the conversations on pause till tomorrow. Same with the Kirigiri stuff, dude. <laughs> Putting Monokuma and Kirigiri aside, something in the air feels somewhat agitated. I would be extra careful tonight if I were you, and avoid leaving your rooms until morning. That goes without saying. Then you're dismissed. I'm going back to my room. Okay, then. And with that, everyone at the cafeteria is return to their own rooms. Oh, yeah. Better put that knife I got from Fukawa. It should be safe in my desk drawer. Anyway, I wonder if Kirigiri is going to be alright. What is she going to do since she can't get in her own room? Is there anything I can do for her? Anything I can do? Huh? I opened my eyes and realized I had fallen asleep at some point, but more importantly, someone rang the intercom? Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? Kiri, Kiri? I'll be waiting in the dressing room. See you there. Uh, hold on, Kiri, Kiri! Kiri just appeared in the hall, not paying my calls any mind. Um, we just talked about not leaving our rooms tonight, but I can't not go either. Damn it! Nike, I wanted to save! Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna save right here and end the session for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna find out what Kiri, Kiri wants. Scott, I'm gonna have a movie. I'll see you guys next time.